Did you get? No. The video you're seeing on your screen is of Farouk Lawan, a former member of the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on Fuel Subsidy, uh, being taken from the court to the prison. And that's because he had allegedly taken a bribe 10 years ago and it's come back to haunt him. Now, Farouk Lawan has been sentenced to seven years in prison for demanding $3 million in bribe from businessman Femi Otedola. The demand was made in 2012 and Otedola paid half a million dollars in cash. Unknown to Lawan, the notes were marked and the DSS was informed about the exchange. A senior advocate of Nigeria, uh, Professor Paul Ananabai is joining us this morning to analyze the case. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. All right, um, let's get your initial reaction to this court ruling. Well, um, as a practicing lawyer that uh, goes to court almost every time, um, we hear judgments every day. So I'm not... Um, I'm not shocked in any manner um, when cases are in court, there will be judgment at some point. So um, uh, if it is about the, 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 the status of the convict, then, uh, and then perhaps the anti-corruption fight, I would say, well, this is good. Not because Farouk was convicted, because the aim of um, a trial, a criminal trial, is not to secure conviction. It's to ensure that justice is done. So I would think that my reaction is that, well, to some extent, it shows that uh, the court is uh, doing what they ought to do, which is not being preferential, uh, taking trial, no matter how long it takes, you can see that this has taken about 10 years. Uh, there are many Nigerians have forgotten that Farouk uh, Lawan was still being prosecuted. So that's why that, uh, the, the, the lesson is that we should be patient with the system. Even though the system is uh, said to be corrupt, uh, the system, the legal system, particularly in this country, moves slowly. But many times, surely, it will get to its general destination. Okay. If you recall that um, Farouk Lawan uh, has so much influence, even though he's not such a very uh, big statured person, he has so much influence in national life, particularly in the House of Representatives. In fact, it was at some point called his integrity. So um, it shows that uh, this bribery we take very uh, lightly is enough to bring down such a big personality. So we should begin to be very serious in this country, knowing that no matter how we run, the arms of the law is long enough to catch criminals. All right, um, Ms. Uh, Professor uh, Mananabai, I want us to still speak about the time that this has taken. 
Uh, like you've mentioned, the judicial system in Nigeria might be a little slow, but it eventually you know, reaches um, you know, a certain stage. But um, nine years uh, for one court case, shouldn't that be a problem? And what necessarily would cause a case to run for nine years? Is it because of um, a lack of uh, um, a pro proper investigation into the case uh, or just continuous adjournment for nine years? Thank you. Um, we often say in legal balance that um, justice delayed is justice denied. Now, you can take a look at the justice of this case. The sentence concurrently is seven years. It has taken 10 years to convict a man to go for seven years imprisonment. So you could see that to that extent, justice is not served. If he was convicted within one year, he would have served the sentence and moved on, assuming he does not appeal. Now, um, what could lead to this delay? Several factors. And those are the issues in our criminal justice system. One, it could come from the lawyers asking for adjournment and all that. Two, it could come from Jusun. If Jusun was on strike till today, there would have been no conviction as it is today. It could come from uh, infrastructure. Maybe uh, there were the prosecution was not ready. Uh, there was no vehicle. Uh, there was no light. There was a, a public holiday and all that. It could come from the witnesses. Maybe they were not available. Remember that the witness in this case uh, uh, is a big personality too. May not be available every time. It could come from the bench, in which case uh, vacation, uh, maybe the cost this is so full that day, and then the matter is adjourned. It can also come from transfer of judges. If the matter has been parted, and then you, you, the, there's a reshuffling of the courts. Uh, then you will, the case will begin the, afresh, we begin the novel. But also, um, if there's a mix up between investigation and prosecution, even conviction will be difficult. So these are the issues. Um, we should begin to look at going forward. Our criminal trial being timed. Well, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act had tried to address some of these issues that I've raised. But uh, the impact has been reduced. We're not getting the full impact of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act because of the practitioners, the, the stakeholders, don't flow in the spirit of the ACJ. However, we are at least happy that after 10 years, this case can be concluded. But then, I will sound a word of caution that it should not be only Farouk Lawan. There are many other uh, trials that ought to have started or have started or mystery. It is important that we don't wait to spend 10 years to conclude a case whose sentence is seven years. It's not good enough. Okay. Professor Ananaba, I, I wanted to ask you what the options, you know, would be for Farouk Lawan, you know, regarding this case. Because he's, he's argued that um, Otodala failed to produce the call log between himself and Otodala when he allegedly asked for bribe. He went on to say that he wanted to collect the money, you know, just to teach other oil companies a lesson and, you know, things like that. So what do you think would be his options or defense if he wants to appeal that he was baited, seeing that the DSS had already planted cameras and marked the notes? Is that even likely to happen? Well, I'm not in his legal team. I think that his legal team should study the judgment closely. 
uh, before they appeal. Um, it's also unprofessional to appeal just because you want to appeal. Uh, before you appeal, you should ensure that um, it is uh, underscored and I mean uh, in hard law and facts, um, not just appealing. And that is part of the delays you see. What you see often is for parties to continue to appeal whether they have uh, good grounds of appeal or not. Um, I'm not going to advise uh, Farouk on camera, but his legal team should do a thorough work before they appeal. Um, that is what I could say now. He has the right of appeal. He has 90 days by the Constitution. He also has the right of, uh, well, asking for bail, but now he is, the presumption of innocence is gone. He's no longer innocent, he's a convict. The bail condition will be more difficult and strict. That is what the legal system says. So he has right of appeal, and now he can, he can ask for bail pending appeal. Uh, and the, the court of appeal is often fast in deciding appeals, criminal appeals. Uh, if, they, if they decide to appeal in a year, they should be able to get an appeal heard. All right. I, I, I also want to you know, speak about what the next seven years would be like uh, for Farouk Lawan. Uh, uh, I'm, sh I'm sure you've been in the system for decades. Um, um, what you know, will the next seven years be like for him? Um, seeing you know our uh, correctional system and, well, uh, this, well, the, and the, the state, the, the computation of years may not be the seven literal years of three hundred and sixty-five days. The prison or the corruption uh, uh, service, and the law has a way of calculating it. Um, it's not easy to be in in detention for a year, particularly for a person. Uh, of that stature uh, in national life, but um, every crime has a has a penalty. Uh, having been having now been convicted, uh, he will serve the sentence, and that's it. okay. And and also, you know, the some of the things that you have mentioned before. I I know you already stated that the Administration of Criminal Justice Act should be able to fix some of these challenges. Um, is there any ones that, you know, maybe the NBA itself can start to act on, you know, to ensure that it doesn't um, take 10 years to secure a conviction like yeah. this? Yeah, there have been several seminars, there have been several communiques until just a month ago. I was chairman of the MBA section of public interest and development law. Uh, MBA has done quite a lot, but the M MBA is the bar. Yeah. There are many others, but the bench is there, like I, I cataloged earlier. The parties, the witnesses and all that. We should, we should determine in this country to make things work. We, are, we do a lot more on talking, talk shop. Nothing is done. Now, uh, what, are the I, what are the conditions of service of the bench? The support staff, Jusun, that went on strike. What is the link between prosecution and um, a, a investigation? I will imagine that a criminal trial should not last more than six months. What is it? Before you bring a, a, an accused to court, you should have done your investigation. So political cases should go away from our legal system. You look at many other countries. Before they arrest a person, they have done thorough investigative work. The evidence is ready. Why don't we 
our criminal trials are supposed to go from day to day. Why don't we uh, block off a month for trial and go from day to day and conclude the trial? After 10 years, how easy is it to analyze evidence and write even judgment? After 10 years. So that's, those are the issues. Many times loopholes will arise for the appellate court to, 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 to overturn the judgment. You can recall back some judgments where in the course of it, because of the trial, the judge has been elevated and based on that, a conviction is quashed. Those are the issues. All right. So, uh, yes, Professor Ananaba, um, lastly from me, how does the law look at the person of Otedola right now? Is it as a whistleblower? Because he's saying that, you know, Farouk Lawan had demanded the bribe from him. So is he looked upon as a whistleblower? And is this something you would recommend for others to do? That if they're, you know, if, for example, a politician or someone in high place demands a bribe from them, do you think this is something they should do, involve the security agencies, the DSS, set up cameras like this, so that, you know, the, the issue could be prosecuted? Well, the whistleblower system and the rules are there, so that is uh, given. But I'm not going to comment on uh, it at all. It is the prosecution that determines who to prosecute and who to make their witness. It is the power of prosecution, residing in the Attorney General State of the Federation. Now, um, if the prosecution are taking that decision, it has taken that decision. Um, it doesn't mean that there's a precedent based on this case as to what somebody should do. But we should be patriotic in Nigeria, help the legal system, help the security system to apprehend criminals. That's the best I can say. And the uh, prosecutorial system the security system requires the cooperation of a Nigerian for the purposes of uh, tracking crime and prosecuting crime. Such should be done. You know, in this particular case, I am not going to comment directly. I'm going to say that the prosecution took that decision, and having taken that decision, it was not faulted uh, successfully. Uh, in the court, in the court, and uh, so that that trial has come to an end. What can now happen is an appellate uh, hearing if uh, the convict resorts to it. Okay, uh, Professor. Um, I think I'll finally just ask. Uh, I'm not sure if you can comment on this, but I'll try. I'll try. Uh, is there any similarities you can draw between this case and the case of the Kano State Governor, who was also seen on video uh, receiving? allegedly receiving bribe. Now, that's what I was saying, that a criminal prosecution is primarily a crime against the state. So the state decides what to do. The kind of state governor you're talking about is, has immunity. So we can't even talk about it. So uh, that is out of the way. You can't prosecute him, even if you want to. Yeah. The Constitution says no. So there's no basis to talk about it. Thank you. Well, so hopefully after his um, uh, tenure as governor, it might, it might uh, spring up again. Well, thank you very much. Crimes don't expire. Sir? Say that again, please. Criminal, crimes, criminal, com, criminal complaints don't expire. There's no statute of limitation for exactly. a crime. So you can prove a crime committed 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Okay. Uh, Professor Ananaba, SAN, thank you very much for joining us this thank morning you. and for speaking with us. Thank you. All right. Stay with us here on Plus TV Africa. We're moving away from Farouk Lawan and now moving to uh, Farouk Yahaya, this time the new Chief of Army Staff and, of course, uh, the expectations now that he has been confirmed. We'll talk about that after this short break. <laughs> 